Tonight, on Truist Crime Monday, the death of George W. Bush. Was it an accident? Was it a murder? Was it a suicide? We'll discuss this here tonight. We will return with more Truish Crime. Hello, folks. Have you wondered about inflation in the economy? Have you wondered where your money's going? Well, let me tell you something that might help. Gold. That's right, gold. Gold doesn't deteriorate. It just rises in value. In the last 150,000 years, gold has remained the same. You know what else has remained the same? The song. The song remains the same. But that's a different story. Gold. And you're wondering, well, how do I get in on this magnificent situation? Well, we can help you. We at the Gold Exchange and other things dot, uh, dot edu. We can help you take your hard earned cash and turn it into hard invested gold. So give us a call. It's 43H2 Q question mark 93. Hi, folks. Yosemite Sam here. Have you wondered where the greatest saloon is? Have you looked for a place not just to drink but also to shoot things? Well, look no further, partner. Over here at Wooly Casa Get Down Dina Saloon. We'll give you a gun when you walk in if you don't have one. Whiskey is 50 cents. Haircuts, two bits. Ladies are lovely to look at. And if you know what you're doing, maybe you can get up to the second floor. You know what I mean? That's right. The woo-wee Pasadena Saloon over in Pasadena, Texas. Back next to the... The old Millies, Gillies, Billies, one of those things. Gooey. Tonight, former Texas resident George W. Bush, a president, a business owner, a painter. What went wrong? We'll talk to classmates former colleagues, and even his art dealer. George W. Bush was born. He went to school. Parents, teachers, and students remember him as, well, we'll let April Gullicuddy explain it. Well, he was what you'd call special. Like, in a good way special, but Kind of odd, kind of special. He was he enrolled in Yale University, as did his father and his father and his father. But George W. Bush could not make the grades. Luckily, the family bought the school another gymnasium, and George W. Bush was to become Lade. George W. Bush later went on to own a baseball team, but his problems with drugs, alcohol, and comic books got in the way. Once he cleaned himself up, he also met a librarian, Laura Bush, who was his faithful companion until her death in 1947 of tuberculosis. George W. Bush was elected to the governor of Texas, where he decided to destroy everybody by executing every citizen. But the White House called his name. To explain it, we'll talk to his vice president, Dick Cheney. Oh, that son of a bitch. Man, I should have shot his face off. What a dumb son of a bitch. At first, George W. Bush was good for nothing but playing golf until he learned about a couple of planes that didn't know how to land. 
the tragic events of 9-11 let him start two wars and give billions of dollars to the arms manufacturers. In 2009, he left the White House dejected, rejected, and almost all alone. But then a new passion came, one called painting. His art dealer explains, Well, it was either this or shuffleboard, and I guess he decided on this. I mean, have you seen his paintings? They're shit. Absolutely horrible. People love them, and I get money selling them, so what the hell, right? Late one night, on January 20th, 2001, George W. Bush was driving towards the Capitol when suddenly... His tire shot out. He tried calling it for a tow truck, but then strange things happened. Things we're not completely sure what they are, and worse, things that are classified. It was a dark day on January 20th. In happier news, George W. Bush was buried next to everyone else, and that was Truish Crime Monday. I'd like to thank all of the people working on it behind the scenes. I'd like to thank him for thank like to thank George W. Bush for dying so we can have this this episode. If you'd like to send us a message, you can do so at Are You Fucking Kidding Me at TrueishCrime dot org. And as always, hopefully you can be in episode two.